now we're trying to move on to my next video uh, I'm going to show you one by one which one is which one so my first my first spring piston was this BSA we call it a BSA club here I don't know what's the name and then I got this air spotster which might not be the original from the British but but this is good enough it can do the work yeah that's a not well made engravement PSA air spotster but this one here has no engraving but it has some marking on the barrel says PSA and the make over here looks like very original to me and they say you have to have the pattern number over here but mine here no but it's okay and this one is also a BSA a break barrel it's called the mercury BSA have a few models it has a Mercury, Meteor, Cadet, Spotster, and don't know. But I've been breaking open this, and it doesn't seem to me like a legit PSA Mercury, but it's okay. That's what we, I can get here. So I'm going to show you a different logo because I get this original, what I think is original BSA stock with the logo on it. There. The bear with the wing and you can see this one which I thought the not original one is very badly made but the wood is okay carved should be good carving should be good but the brand name is not really that good so yeah you can see uh, here are my some of my BSAs uh, I have a MK12 these are all under lever except for the mercury these are the club we call it here in indonesia bsa club it's under lever and this one too the s poster is under lever sorry there you go and there you go yeah i try to make one of one by one and this is my fine work bow one to a this is original but the uh, previous owner has painted as a uh, as is yeah i bought all my air guns pre-loved or used or second hand most of the time because the first hand will be too expensive i bought this psa at this moment is about about but i bought it about 30 years 20 years ago so it's still very cheap this moment it's about maybe 100 or 150 pounds uk or or 200 200 us dollars yes sort of that that area this one is cheaper this one i bought for 150 us dollar and this one is the fanbook bow is very expensive i bought it is about 350 us dollar yeah this is a fanbook bow one to four I'll try to show you later. Okay, now moving on. Let's make a more. I'm not a, a gunsmith. I'm also not a service person. Okay. These are all the pneumatics. Uh, pump action. This is my shaft model made in Japan. It used to say two countries and four countries. This is a sharp Innova made in Japan. This one is the four countries version, uh, which is the second generation. Innova MK2, Japan, USA, Korea, and Indonesia. Yeah, And this is the Innova first model. I don't think the chamber is, is original, but it's okay. I'm just going to show you. The first Innova model will be two countries, Japan and USA. This is made in Japan. I believe it's the first plastic 
chamber that Japan has ever made for the pneumatic uh, pump. This belongs to my son. He likes it a lot. Yeah, I used to get this bipod from New Zealand because we don't have uh, much airgun air gun shops here in Indonesia used to be. I got this from 1998 in New Zealand. That time I, I like I like a lot. I like New Zealand a lot. Yeah. So this is my shop in Nova, still in the original. And this one is uh, very badly made because this stock here has been replaced. The older one is, uh, the original one is broken. So, yeah. Like this, it, it, it breaks. It, it cracks, you know. After some pumps hit the, the wood, hits the, the, the pneumatic barrel and it becomes cracking. Okay. Moving on to this, this is a Benjamin. I don't believe this is a real Benjamin. I think it's uh, made in locally, but it's okay. It's quite well made. And my son like it a lot. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think this is an original Benjamin, but it's nice, yeah? It's got a trigger like here for the pump tension. It's locally made, should be. But the stock is also very nice. Stock is just like a gummo stock. And moving on to this one. This one is definitely a local made. This is just the pump uh, air, air. The barrel is still out of the way i like this because it was created even though it's locally it has the aluminium chamber and a magazine you know but you have to to rotate the magazine manually you know, to get the bullet in i'm sorry my bad there you go so i got this from indonesia too this is not cheap also but yeah just want to have it for the sake of having something with a magazine, with an air pump with a magazine. Just want to curious to know. Okay, so these two are made in Japan, sold in Indonesia. This one, the original MK1 Sharp Innova, and that's the second generation. This one, Innova 2, this Innova 1. That's some pneumatics. And our Daisy friend here belongs to my son too. It's very rare for me in Indonesia to get this daisy gun, but it's okay. Okay, so I have reviewed the gamo today and all this rest, and I have done this high nail too. I still have not get any parts and I still have not weld this. It seems to be very difficult for me to get a spot, good spot welder here because the spot welding thing is not here. Also, I haven't get the magazine yet for this handle, but this is original. I like it a lot. My camo. And next will be, I will be reviewing my BSAs, yeah, on how it shoots. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry for the lighting and the limited space, but that's all I got at the moment. So you see, I'm not a blacksmith. I'm not, I, I'm not a gunsmith. I'm not a service person, repair person. That's all my small collection. This is a Diana 50. I will review it shorter on. Thank you.